one thing narcissists hate about you. There are many things narcissists hate about their victims. But there is one thing that really gets to them. There is one thing they're really envious of. Because they hate authority. They hate anyone who has the power or right to give orders, make decisions and enforce obedience. They hate anyone who could be a threat to their false sense of superiority. Because the narcissist feels like they're better than other people. They feel like they're special. They feel like they're different than other people. Which is why they feel entitled to privileges and special treatment. They expect a lot of attention. They hate following or complying with any shared standards of acceptable behavior. They hate agreeing with anything. The more fair it is, the more they turn against it. The more they will try to break the rules. Because they don't want to conform to anything. Which makes them feel powerful. It makes them feel like they have more power than other people. Because they're superior, they're better than other people. It's just a false character that they have created in their minds, but it affects their ability to function socially in society. They're antisocial, they're contrary to the laws and customs of society. Some of them may not be sociable or want in the company of other people. They may prefer to be alone. Unless they're seeking narcissistic supply. Because they don't want to be polite and well-mannered. They want to be accepted but they don't want to follow any of the rules of what is considered to be normal and acceptable. They will pretend to play by the rules, but they're secretly doing their own thing because they're not really with you. They're against you. And that is why they have such an obsessive need to exercise their control over you and to take command of every situation because they cannot tolerate any opposed views or opinions, which is why they will devalue and degrade you. They will insult you. They will blame you because they're trying to get you to conform to their rules and regulations which is set up only to benefit themselves and that is why they can't give anything back to you they can't give anything to you to keep you going to keep you growing and to keep you in good health and condition they just want to take everything for themselves they're not even trying to understand what you're doing. They're just trying to challenge you while you're trying to impart knowledge and instruct them. While you're trying to help them to learn and understand something by example or experience. Which results in unfriendliness and opposition. Because they're trying to challenge your superiority. 
or they just don't even want to listen to you because this is one thing they hate about you. This is one thing they're deeply envious of. Narcissists hate intelligent people. They hate people who have a good amount of mental ability. People who have the ability to easily learn and understand things. People who can deal with new or difficult situations. People who show a lot of intelligence. Because narcissists have an inferiority complex. When you display your intelligence, it makes them feel inferior. It makes them feel like they're of little importance and value. It makes them feel like they're less than you. But then they try to change the direction of it. They try to act like they're smarter than you. But in every area the narcissist tries to display strength, that is actually their weakness. That is their disadvantage or fault. And that is why they hate intelligent people. Because intelligent people are a direct threat to their fake personality and their superiority complex, their false premise of being better than other people. True intelligence and good judgment conflicts with everything that is in the narcissist. It breaks them down and it makes it more difficult for them to have their way. Your intelligence gives you the ability to succeed. It gives you the ability to exceed and be greater than those who don't have it. It also gives you the ability to see through their nonsense, which they are using to deceive you. The more intelligent you are, the more conflict there's going to be. The more differences of opinion, the more arguments and fights. If the narcissist is involved with someone who is intelligent, it's going to be more difficult and full of problems than if they were with someone who's not so intelligent. When you're intelligent, the narcissist will treat you worse than the fool, the idiot, the person who is easily tricked and deceived. Because that person isn't a threat to the narcissist. But if you have intelligence, knowledge and experience, it's very difficult for the narcissist to deal with you. But people who have a similar level of intelligence will tend to agree more often than they disagree. There will be less differences of opinion. There will be more understanding. The reason why you experience so many fights with a narcissist is because they lack intelligence. And it may even result in them getting rid of you because it's too much work for them. The narcissist may act like they're intelligent and it may seem like they've got all of this knowledge, but it only exists on the surface. Because they've never actually applied this knowledge that they're given to you. They've never tried it to see if it's effective so they've never received any experience from it. And yet they're trying to challenge you after you've already applied the knowledge and gained the experience. That is why they get defeated so easily in an argument. And it's also why they get so envious of you. Because you have the advantage. You have the experience of actually doing it, which most people would be able to accept but the narcissist cannot mind their own business. They can't stick with what they know and what they're good at. They have to be involved in everything. 
They have to challenge you. They have to get mad when you try to correct them on what they don't know because they just can't admit that they're wrong. Instead, they will continue to challenge you on things they don't know anything about. And that is why they don't like people who think they know much more than other people. They're always trying to lessen the effectiveness, power and ability of intelligent people. They will treat the exceptionally clever, talented and intelligent person worse than the idiot or fool. Because there's no threat to the narcissist's false character from the fool. But they see the intelligent person as a threat. Which is why when the narcissist is involved with someone who is dynamic and intelligent, their goal will be to defeat that person, not trying to work with them or build something with them, but to defeat them. The narcissist will instantly become their opponent. They will compete with them. They will disagree with and resist their proposal or practice because they're trying to prove that you're not smart. They're trying to prove that you're not smarter than them which is why they're always trying to make you less confident, less powerful, and less likely to succeed by deliberately causing you to believe something that is not true for their own personal gain, by giving you a mistaken impression. Because they don't have much knowledge or experiences, so they have to use deception and dishonest talk and behavior. And they know exactly what they're doing. They know they're manipulating you. They know they're deliberately trying to deceive you. Because the only way they can get the better of you is by tricking you and lying to you. That's the only way that they can outsmart you. And they see it as though it's reasonable for them to do that so that they can feel like they're smarter than you. And if you don't try to trick them or lie to them, they just see it as though you're not as smart as them. Because they managed to use those tactics against you and you couldn't understand that they were taking advantage of you. They know they're lying to you. They know they're being manipulative and deceptive. That's what gives them the power to suppress their feelings of inferiority, their feelings of being less than you, and of you being better than them. They're very weak and insecure, which is why they cannot deal with the idea of someone being better than them. But that's just a normal part of life. There's always going to be people who are better than you at something. But you have to stick to what you know and what you're good at. Rather than trying to distract or oppose them. So that you can grow and become successful in what you're doing. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coach inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.